showing today and uh, this starts with Youth of Today. Hi everyone, it's Davey from Endlessly He Said. So I'm going to start a series showing my entire record collection. I've been showing records for a long while on this channel and to be honest it was the main reason that I started it. But I don't think I've gone through my entire record collection. Now obviously to preface this there are going to be records that are going to come and go maybe. Um, that have been part of my collection that you've already seen and so those records I'm going to skip over and I'll refer you to those other videos that those records are in. Um, I'll just flash them up and then you can go and watch those other videos. But I'm going to start at the back of the collection. My records are organised alphabetically and uh, I thought it would be more interesting to start with the Z's through to the A's because I know the A's have got sections where I've got a lot of music by the, the same band basically so I'm gonna make some shorter videos for those records so I can just show off those little collections and you can see what's going on if you're not sure what I'm on about uh, go and watch my AFI videos there's three of them to show all of my AFI collection on vinyl so I'm just showing 12 inches at this point I have got 10 inches and 7 inches and 9 inches and other sized from records and uh, I'll show those in another video another time uh, maybe uh, a couple of videos for each size of vinyl. But let's get started. This is uh, Youth of Today, we're not in this alone. This is uh, with the lineup of Sammy, Walter, Porcel and uh, Ray, obviously. This is on a uh, sort of a pinky red vinyl. It comes with uh, a big lurk sheet and there's a poster going on there. My favorite song on this record is No More. It's about being vegetarian and not eating meat and not eating other animal products. Um, I'm pretty sure most of these guys are vegan by this point. Youth of Today, uh, Break Down the Walls, I think this is their first record and uh, this one comes with an insert. So this has all of uh, the lyrics on the back and this artwork on the front. Uh, there's the lyrics there. Front cover and back cover. This came to me on a red vinyl. Guess let's talk about Youth of Today. I'm straight edge and uh, I, d I guess you don't have to be straight to like Youth Today, but I do like Youth Crew and I think that's a really fun genre. These guys are obviously the originators of that. And uh, I got to see Youth Today last year in uh, a Gros Rock festival and that was a really fun time. The next record is the XX self-titled. Uh, I showed this vid record in my Birmingham record shopping video, which I'll link here so you can see that. And uh, yeah, check that out. Um, I love the XX, their new record rips and I can't wait to get it on vinyl. The next record is the Extremist record. Extremist is a project with Davy Havoc and Jade Puget. I actually have a version that's signed. Here's the front cover and the back cover. It comes with a printed dust sheet with the artwork on the back, white vinyl. Now, anyone who knows me knows I love AFI and Extremist are an aggressive straight edge project. They uh, just talk about straight edge things pretty much and uh, it's really intense, kind of metallic hardcore, um, really frantic uh, music going on in the background. Davey's vocals are a lot louder and more aggressive than he has in AFI and I would really recommend listening to this. For anyone that likes that kind of gothy, punky type stuff but then also has a bit of a push on for Hardcore, I'd recommend like checking this band out because they are really great and uh, I think they'll be doing another record at some point in between. Um, interestingly, this comes out on Dim Mac Records, which is Steve Aoki's record label. Steve Aoki's obviously been connected to the hardcore scene for a long time for those that didn't know, but really worth checking out the Extremist record. The next record is With Increase, Death is Inevitable. The back cover, a lyric insert, and the other side there. I just have black vinyl. The With Increase are a band from America, they sound a little bit like Strong Arm, so if you're into that like melodic, more uh, I guess aggressive hardcore, but it's not like chuggy or anything. So yeah, good melodic style hardcore, um, really good spirit filled hardcore band uh, on Blood and Ink Records. I don't think they're playing shows anymore, I think they've broken up and this was their last record. But yeah, with increase, a death is inevitable. The next record is Young and in the Way, When Death Comes to Life. This is the front cover, back cover here, has this kind of like embossed print on it. This record comes from complete with the most ridiculous poster, it's huge. Lyrics on the back. This is on clear vinyl for me. Okay, so Young and in the Way are essentially a black metal band. I think, I don't know. Purists would probably say otherwise, I'm guessing 
Mike is probably going to call me out on them not being a black metal band. Shout out Mike Seatown. This record is like really aggressive, really intense, and I think it's loved by both the black metal community and the hardcore community. It came out on Death Wish Records and they definitely did a good job mixing it and putting it together, everyone that was involved in doing this. I got to see Young and In The Way with Converge at a Death Wish Fest that was in the UK in London a few years ago, and yeah, the live show is still just savage. Like, you must see this band. The next record in my collection is this. This is Under Oath, Disambiguation, back cover, clear vinyl with this swirly pattern. This looks really trippy in the middle. Okay, so Under Oath are probably one of my favourite bands. They stopped being a band and they have now started playing reunion shows with their lineup, playing two albums in full. This is the last full length that they released before they broke up and it's definitely more digital. It's got a lot of um, more aggressive side to it too. Um, they were peaking in a, around that kind of every time I die vibe with much less party and more sort of abstract spiritualism. But yeah, I love Under Oath. If you're a, a fan of like that old screamo type stuff, you'll know who this band are. I think I showed this vid record in one of my first videos, but this is World Be Free, The Anti-Circle. So go check out the Berlin video and uh, you can see this record there. Next record is Wolf Down, Stray From The Path. I really love this record. Here is the back cover. This version is on a clear vinyl with a pink white splatter. This is on Power Trip Records and Start Fire Records. So other than the fact that this record is full of straight edge vegan anthems, it's, uh, it's short and sharp and it's in your face, it's bouncy, stage diving, hardcore that Scott Vogel would be proud of. But they put this out with this really cool book and uh, I'll show you a few pages. Wolf Down are great, you should go check them out. I think they're touring, I just remembered, they're touring with Youth of Today and uh, American Nightmare all through Europe. So if you're a European, go and watch that tour. Um, I think it's in London on the 25th of February. 2017. If this video is a little older, then sorry you missed it. The next record I have is Venia, Frozen Hands. This is the Fest Edition, which came with this little OB strip out of 25, number 8, DIY insert. Get the, some artwork on there, back cover, front cover. It's on white vinyl. Venia are a band who are now broken up. I think they broke up in 2012. Um, Members of have gone on to be in Torn, which is a band with guys from Advent, and uh, I guess they're all doing different things. Um, I can definitely say like Ben Kaczynski is uh, making art and doing really cool creative stuff. I still keep up with him. Um, I don't know what the other guys are doing. They're a hardcore band from Minneapolis, from Twin Cities, and uh, they were great. Like really stompy, like Madball vibes, but spirit-filled hardcore. I got to see them a few times at Cornerstone Festival and that was a really nice experience um, considering they never came to Europe at all, so yeah, Venio were great. If you're not familiar with them, their most recent 7-inch, I've lost all faith in myself, is really great. I think I have so many versions of that. In an effort to keep this short and sweet, this is my last record for this video. This is Unholy Majesty, All Is Dust. I feel like I've shown this in another video, I think. I'm going to show you. Black with grey splatter, it's pretty cool, uh, printed dust sheet, and, uh, front cover, back cover. This band are from down south in Kent and they are, uh, they kind of sound like integrity, kind of that holy terror type vibe, um, more, more of like old integrity, so still very hardcore. Um, good guys playing really good metallic hardcore. If you like that Holy Terror vibes and you're not listening to Unholy Majesty, then you should definitely check them out. Okay, so that concludes my video for this section of my record collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like to see more of these, then give it a thumbs up. If you wanna comment anything you're hoping to see in the record collection, or if you've got any stories about the bands I've been talking about, then do that below. If you haven't already subscribed, please click that red button and subscribe. Uh, it would mean the world to me. It really helps the channel boost up and it helps everything come together more. Um, I'm Davey and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.